Hey, good morning, guys, and this is Coding with Kota. We learned a lot about JavaScript in our past videos, so why don't we learn more? So now, guys, today we're gonna finish the levels, keeping time and hoarding gold. So, without further ado, let's get started. So let's go with keeping time. So our goals are to defeat the ogres and collect all the coins. So those are our goals for today's lesson. And now this level got restarted for a reason. So this gives me the chance to teach you this level. So without further ado, let's get going. So now in the first 10 seconds attack. So variable enemy enemy equals hero dot find nearest enemy. Okay, so we already have the variable we define in have almost every video. And so if enemy hero attacks enemy and then else if item equals hero dot find nearest item nearest item Item zero dot x y item dot x dot x and item dot post dot y. Yeah, and then we for the one else zero dot x. Attack, wait. Third, attack enemy, and without further ado, I think we should define the variable again so he keeps finding the new enemy. And let's see how this goes. And now this guy goes and attacks all the enemies he sees. Yeah, and next, then I don't know why he's going to attack the enemy. And next, then why the heck is this guy not going for coins? Okay, so I forgot the keyword bear. And I think now this time he'll get and go all the coins and he killed one pal city and then he goes to get all the other coins. And then if we have enough coins we could buy a lot of troops which could help us win it, the battle. So guys I just go and collect items until heroes time is less than 35 seconds and then after it's 35 seconds I go to attack enemies and next the enemies see us and they come to us we go and then we just want to kill everybody but then my soldiers take care of everything we kill them so now let's understand our code in the while loop we used hero.time if it's less than 10 seconds you attack enemy if there's an enemy else if hero's time is less than 35 seconds he finds the nearest item if there's an item he moves to it and enemy equals hero find nearest enemy else he attacks the enemy so now that's all it for keeping time we learn a new subject called time but i think that will only be there in code combat so you might not need to keep that in mind so now I go and equip my armor. Okay, then I think that'll be enough. And then um, let's go. So now you have to collect 25 gold. Don't collect 30 plus gold. And you have to tell Naria how much gold you're collecting. Okay. So now we are gonna be introduced to a little bit of breaks. So, so you see break so basically bre break in javascript means that you have to break out of the loop so we could also have continue which continues to each loop and that, that would be covered in another session and i'm just gonna discuss briefly about breaks because in our next video i think we might cover breaks and so let's just learn basically what break is break is used to break out of a loop 
if we're done. So for example, if we collected greater than 25 gold or equal to it, we break out of the loop so we don't want to collect any more gold and then we move to the X, the bone X, and we say the total gold tenaria. So that's how breaks could be used to help us. And also here we have a little bit of incrementation. So let's look at this. So total gold is zero. So total gold has no value in it but just zero. You know, while you look, you find the nearest item. If there's an item, you move to it. And extend total gold adds and equals to the coin value. So you'll add the coin value into the total gold and increment it until you reach 25. So for example, you can like the gold coin. Three will be added in the silver, two. Bronze is one. So it'll be incremented. So it will be incremented like how much money you have, basically. And if total gold is greater or equal to 25, you break out of the loop, move to the bone decks, and tell Naria. So now let's try and see how this works. So you go, you collect all the coins, and we're at 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8, 20, 20. And we have 25 gold. Then we move to Naria and we tell her 25 gold, 25 perfect, she says. And that's all our gold. And let's look at what we used. We used a new thing called break statements, incrementation, uh, I, sorry, wait, variables, if statements, while loops, and Boolean values a little bit, uh, and arithmetic because we use numbers and i think that's it for today's two levels please subscribe if you want more please like this video and like always this is coding with gotham signing